All right, let's have a quick look at some of these boards. They're fairly well made. You know, standard telecom communication or standard telephone communication. Oh, sorry, company. Derp. Um, yeah, STC. I've got an air conditioner that's actually made by them. Um, good electrolytic capacitors. Nitsuko capacitors. 10 volt, 470 microfarad. Now the board itself should be, I think it's made by Nitsuko I noticed. At least not this one, the last one I pulled out. I had one of the other boards out and it was made by Nitsuko. So that name's familiar. Lots of uh, EEPROMs and things. But one, two and three, four. A little dip socket mounted EEPROM. Little lithium backup battery. So this is like the logic side of everything. Yeah, S series one. Not too sure. I'm sure somebody's worked with these things before. I think uh, Clinton from Clinton's Shed on YouTube was quite interested in what model this was. I have a feeling he's probably dealt with them before. <laughs> I haven't, but if someone has, I'm sure this is a bit of a blast from the past if you don't see him anymore. Okay, this one looks like it's got little isolating or audio transformers on it. A lot of them. And again, the caps, caps are also Nitsuko. Very high grade stuff. Yeah, there. Nitsuko. What is it? Model MB8841H. Okay. Little NEC microchips on it. More various little transformers and things. Familiar stuff from inside old radios, old transistor radios and things that have uh, little transformers like these all over them. It's an NEC D22100C. There's two of them. There's an NEC D4069UBC. There's an NEC D4066BC. I'm not too sure what those part numbers are. So I, I haven't worked in electronics manufacturing either. I've done a bit in repair, but that's about it. Certainly not much in repair, at least not since I was a teenager. That's an old uh, phenolic type board. And again, little opto couplers by the looks of it, and various resistors and diodes. Again, I don't know these things inside or out, so I've got no idea what that does. It's not like a computer where it usually tells you or you've got telltales like I.O. ports and things on them. This is completely foreign to me. Okay, this board's pretty heavy with componentry. Again, lots more little transformers and things. Very nicely made. The solder work on these is pretty damn good. Mind you, this is the 1980s, so that lead-free garbage hasn't made its way into the market and ruined everything. But there's a lot of uh, a lot of relays, their relays, their relays, tiny little ones, bigger ones. That's some kind of relay as well. Fairly serious stuff. It's a Nitsuko MB8861H. That large CPU style processor, or what I'm guessing is a CPU. It's the biggest one on the board. <laughs> And a few Texas Instruments J812B2K. There's four of them. Could also be uh, like RAM chips in a CPU. This could be also be part of logic control for the uh, system. It's fairly difficult to tell though. It's heavy stuff though. All those iron core transformers. Laminated core. Okay, that's the one I had out before. Again, same brand as on the caps, Nitsuko. They're all, uh, oh, that one's there. No, it's Nippon Chemicon on there. That's Nippon Chemicon. Yeah, there's a couple of Nippon Chemicon. The rest of them seem to be Nitsuko. Again, it's a brand I've never ever heard of. They must be for uh, heavy duty, ultra ultra reliable telecommunications and probably even military specification components. I've never ever seen something like that in consumer electronics. 
not like these ones. Again, 16 volt, 100 microfarad. Uh, only 85 degree caps though, but still, they're probably a lot better than today's 85 degree caps. I'll give them that much. And that came out of is it DS DSS slash D, DS board. Yeah, it is marked on the bottom of the housing what each board does. There's STB 1, 2 and 3, so I'm guessing they're all for station control. Yeah. Again, various little isolating transformers or audio transformers, something like that. There's another four up here. More of the same. These ICs. They're all the same, they're NEC D2210Cs. There's six of them. So Texas Instruments Malaysia, SN74LS245N. And that main IC is a Nitsuko MB8841H. So looking at a lot of the similar components to the other boards are the same actually. Again, the same deal. It's basically just duplicate components. This one's a little different. You can see already it's got... There's a D1169 Matsushita Electric. It's got one, two, three, four of those. Metal oxide varistors. Oh, this has got surge protection and everything on it. This is probably um, interface with the main line. Got surge protection, optocouplers, isolating transformers, audio transformers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, this is probably um, interface with the main telecom line. That's why it's got all this other garbage on it. Well, it's not garbage, it's actually quite necessary, but you know what I mean. Yeah, this is line interface. Again, made by Nitsuko. Lots of modules missing. There's headers and things for modules, but they're not installed. Capacitors, is that 63 volt, 47 microfarad. Who are they made by? SMC. It looks like the Nippon Chemicon crown logo, though. Interesting. Back plane doesn't appear to have anything else on it, but we'll address that in a later video. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a bit more later on in the week. I'm uh, going to catch up on some other things tonight and then go to work tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> anyway, take care. Have fun. Yeah, there's the traditional STC logo. I'll have to get that air conditioner out too and finish that thing off. That's an old 60s style STC built air conditioner. Same company, just different division. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.